The title of this message is You Are an Eagle and it's time for you to conquer the world. And so many of you are wondering, how do I know that you are an eagle? And how do I know that it's time for you to conquer the world? I know this simply because the word of the almighty God, which is infallible and which is truth, says so. So permit me to quote three very profound and powerful statements that the almighty God made about you. That's right, you. The first statement is found in Genesis 1 verse 28. And the Bible says, Then God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth, govern it, reign over the fish of the sea, reign over the birds in the sky, and reign over all the animals that scurry around and along the ground. So God blessed you. When God created you, he said to you before you were dispatched, be fruitful. He said to you, multiply. He said to you, fill the earth. He said to you, govern the earth. And he said to you, reign over every fish reign over every fish in the sea he said to you reign over the birds reign over every bird in the air he said to you reign over the earth and reign over every animal that scurries along the ground so i challenge you today be fruitful multiply replenish subdue and take your rightful place of dominion in the name of jesus the second statement that god made about you is found in jeremiah 1 verse 5 and god says that i knew you before i formed you in your mother's womb before you were born i set you apart and I appointed you to soar, to fly, and to be all that you were created to be. So today, I want to challenge you. Do you know that God knew you even before you were formed in your mother's womb? Do you know that God knew you before you were born? And even before you were released and dispatched into this earth, the Lord God had set you apart and he had appointed you to fly high, to soar high, and to be all that he created you to be. The third statement that I want to share with you that the Almighty God made about you is found in Isaiah 40 verse 31. And the Bible says, But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary, and they will walk and not faint. That's right. The Lord God says concerning you that if you trust in him, you would continually and consistently find new strength. <laughs> Two, he says that you will soar high on wings like eagles. So God likens you to an eagle. And he likens your manifestation to the manifestation of the eagle. The third thing is God says that you will run, but you will never get tired. You will run. You will never grow weary because you would have stamina and strength. And the fourth thing God says concerning you is you will walk your path on earth and you will never faint. I challenge you today. Find new strength and receive it in the name of Jesus. Soar high on wings that God has blessed you with. Be the eagle that God created you to be. 
run with great speed, run with great tenacity, run with great strength and stamina, and never, ever grow weary, and walk your path, your destiny, and never, ever faint in the name of Jesus. Wow. God Almighty says that you are an eagle. Now the eagle above all animals, especially the lion, I consider to be the only king over land because it can come on land and dominate land. It's the only king over waters because it can come and hoover over water and dominate the waters. And is the only king that dominates the air. Hmm. So when God calls you an eagle, God is telling you that you have dominion, just as Genesis 1.28 said, over the air, over the waters, and over the land. The eagle is very different from every other creature. It is very, very powerful and magnificent. Now, there are 60 different species of eagles that are found all over the world. Now, the eagle is very strong and it has very large wings that span about 7.5 feet when they are fully spread out. Now, its wings enable the eagle to fly fast, straight, and to soar effortlessly over thousands and thousands of kilometers in one swoop without getting tired. The eagle attains unbelievable heights, even in the midst of the most terrible of storms. Its size, its weight is incredible. The eagle can fly high reaching altitudes above 10,000 feet, higher than any helicopter can fly, higher than any animal or any creature can fly. It can compete with an aeroplane. It is beautiful. It is agile. It is fast. It is bold. It is brave. It is fearless. The eagle is fierce. It is proud. And the eagle is very, very graceful. The legs and the limbs of the eagle is very strong. The talons are very pointed and very sharp. The eagle is the symbol of many nations, such as the United States of America, Russia, Egypt, the Philippines, and the list goes on. The eagle was the symbol the standard symbol of the Roman armies and the Napoleon troops. The eagle controls the population of other animals like rats on land, snakes on land, rabbits on land, fish even in the seas because it goes hunting and conquers them. Eagles are very solitary birds. They roll, they move, they hunt alone. They love and they enjoy their own company. The eagle is authentic. The eagle is original. The eagle knows who it is and who it isn't. The eagle knows what it is and what it isn't. The eagle does not suffer from an identity crisis. It does not roll with other birds. It does not roll with other animals. Your body determine your decision. Your decision determine your actions, and your actions determine your. Most eagles prey without landing. That is, from heights of as far as five kilometers, they launch at the speeds of over 300 kilometers per hour once they lock their sight on a prey oh my god the eagle moves at the fast speed of a formula one racing car and boom once it locks in it goes for its prey 
It doesn't even land. It picks up the prey and takes off again. The prey may be on land. The prey may be in very difficult terrains. The prey may be in water, but the eagle never loses sight once it focuses itself. And one of the most interesting things about the eagles is that the eagles love the storm and the eagles know how to ride the storm. Now, the eagle doesn't shy away. It doesn't run away from any storm. No matter how fierce that storm is, the eagle simply enters the eye of the storm and the eagle conquers the storm. The eagle dominates everything, even the fiercest of storms. The eagle never flaps its wings when it flies. It simply spreads its wings and uses the wind to soar high and far without using much effort and energy. The eagle can effortlessly soar and glide over distances and over speeds of 75 miles per hour. It can soar effortlessly over 120 kilometers. Wow, over 4,000 kilometers. The eagle is such a powerful, very, very awesome bird. The eagle has 20-20 vision and it can see as far as five kilometers. And once it locks his eyes, there is nothing, absolutely nothing that can distract the eagle. The eagle has automatic focus. It can regulate its visual reflective and refractive abilities. Light does not disturb it. Water does not disturb the eagle's vision. Brightness or even darkness cannot affect the eagle's sight. The eagle's eyes are large. They are nine times the size of our eyes. And the eagle's sight is so sharp that it is four times better than any lens that already exists today. The eagle can see a tiny fly, a tiny fly very clearly from the top of a 20 to 30 story building. Now, when the eagle gets old, when it reaches the age of about 30, it flies high into his nest. It hides itself and it begins to pluck its old feathers. It begins to knock its beaks and bangs its beak just to remove it on a rock. It plucks out its talons and waits in that hidden place, not eating, not drinking in order for new feathers and wings to grow, in order for a new beak to grow in order for new talons to grow. That process we call the molting process. The eagle reinvents itself. The eagle regrows every functional and powerful part of its body and it leaves a new life for another 30 to 40 years. The eagle leaves a long, viral, vibrant, fulfilling and satisfying life. Eagles accomplish their vision and their mission before they die. Now, let me share with you as I round up some very, very key and outstanding qualities and characteristics of eagles that you must covet. The ability to see very far, deep, requires for you to develop your spiritual, mental, emotional, and physical vision. Your inner eyes and your outer eyes need to be in partnership for you to release the power of focus, the power of current sight, the power of foresight, the power of insight and hindsight, the power of clarity of vision and mission that God has blessed you with. I challenge you today to release the power of your vision. 
The second thing is the ego has supernatural strength, stamina, and power. I release you now to receive, to develop, and to manifest your supernatural strength, your supernatural power, and your supernatural stamina now in the name of Jesus. The third quality that you need to manifest like the ego is you have to be a voracious strategist, hunter, and conqueror. Now, the ego has the ability to penetrate any enemy defense. It can outperform, it can outfight any enemy or competitor, and it can take them into its domain and conquer and weaken them. The ego has the ability to detect, to track, and to lock on to its enemy and attack its prey and enemy. The ego has the ability of focus, vigilance, fearlessness, boldness, courage. It is fierce. It is an absolutely vigilant and tactical and strategic striker. I speak to you today, right? And I challenge you. I challenge you to focus. I challenge you to vigilance. I challenge you to become a tactician and a strategist. I challenge you to outperform your competitors, to outfight your enemies, and for you to become a conqueror and a voracious hunter. The fourth quality that I want to share with you as I round up is the ego can survive and the ego can adapt and the ego can thrive in any weather condition or in any environment. The eagle is found in the hottest deserts in North Africa. The eagle is found in the coldest snow in Alaska and in Russia. The eagle can survive for days without food, without water, particularly when the eagle is going through that molten rejuvenation, recreation process. I challenge you today to be able to deny yourself of the things of this world. I challenge you with the ability of adaptability, flexibility in the name of Jesus. I challenge you to be able to survive, to be able to adapt, to be able to thrive and succeed in all situations. challenge you today to train your children, yourself, in mental, emotional, physical, and environmental resilience, strength, and stamina. I beg you, please do not depend on your nannies. Please do not depend on their teachers. Please do not depend on other people to train your children in the skill of emotional, mental, and physical resilience, strength, and stamina. You've got to train your sis, children not to leave and remain in their comfort zones. Train and condition them to grow out of it. The seventh quality that I want to share with you is egos live in the present and in the future and not in the past. Egos never eat dead things. Egos never revisit their past kill. Egos never feed on flesh of yesterday they feed on fresh flesh and prey unlike eagles many of us constantly boast about our past achievements a lot of us are afraid of the past and a lot of us unconsciously keep our spoils of the past we regurgitate our achievements in the past and that stops us from focusing on on creating the future of our dreams. You are also created to sit at the right hand of God in the heavenly and in the high places, far above 
all limits, far above all limitations, even the limitations of serpents, of principalities, of powers, of rulers of the darkness of this world, or spiritual hosts of wickedness in high places. None and nothing can stop you if you understand who and what you are. You are the only one that can stop yourself. My prayer is that you will not stop yourself. You are an eagle. And today I release you in the name of Jesus. In wrapping up, say this affirmation with me that I created from Isaiah 40, 31. I trust the almighty God. My strength is renewed. In the eye of the storm, I mount up with wings like eagles. After all, I am an eagle. I have foresight. I have hindsight. I have insight. And I have current sight that is very, very clear. I saw higher than my peers and my competitors and my enemies. At these great heights that I attain, I defeat and I conquer all my competitors and my enemies. I am victorious. I am more than a conqueror. I am seated at the right hand of God in the heavenly places far above and sitting at altitudes that is far above that of my enemy and my competitors. The heights and altitudes my enemy and competitors cannot survive and thrive in. I have supernatural power. I have supernatural strength. I have supernatural stamina and abilities. They all manifest in time. I permanently live and sit in the heavenly places in Christ and I daily visit the earth. And when I visit the earth, I run and I'm never weary. I walk my destiny and I'm never faint. I create the future of my dreams. I am first and not last. I am above and not beneath. I am fruitful. I multiply. I replenish my world. I subdue my world and I take dominion over my world. I am blessed today and every day. I live a long, meaningful, fruitful, and satisfying life in the name of Jesus. I declare this is your destiny in Jesus' precious name. My name is Lanre Olushola, and this message is in memory of my great friend, Ubong the King. It is so, so important for us to recognize that Ubong came, Ubong lived, Ubong conquered, Ubong finished his assignment, Ubong left the legacy, and then he left us all behind to continue. Hey, King Ubong, I salute you, sir. Thank you, even after you have gone for giving me this great opportunity to speak to people. May your soul continue to rest in the bosom of our almighty father in heaven. Shalom.